Dr. John Browning. Welcome to the Valder Beebe Show live in Dallas, Texas. How are you today? I'm good. Thanks so much for having me. Well, it's Sleep Awareness Month, and I want my audience, Dr. Browning, to know that you're, bur- you're a board-certified pediatric dermatologist and you're chief of dermatology at Children's Hospital of San Antonio, and you're in the Valder Beebe Show studio today to help break down a recent survey. First of all, let's talk about what is atopic dermatitis. Let's get everybody on the same page because this affects, I understand, 26 million people in the U.S. Right, yeah, who knew? Um, But, you know, atopic dermatitis is often referred to as eczema, so just keep that in mind. I think people often use the terms interchangeably. Um, Atopic dermatitis is more the medical term. Eczema is kind of a broader term that can just cover a lot of itchy skin conditions. But with atopic dermatitis... You know, patients have itchy red skin. It's often visible, unfortunately, so it may involve their arms. It may involve the back of the knees, their neck, or their face. Their hands can be involved, which can be a problem if you're shaking people's hands or you're playing a sport and you're worried about cracks and pain. Um, so that's, that's what atopic dermatitis is in a nutshell. What causes atopic dermatitis if 26 million people in the U.S. are, are purported to have this? Well, Valder, that's the question people ask me every day in my practice. They say, why do I have atopic dermatitis and what's causing it? Is there one thing I can remove from my diet? Is there one thing I can remove from my house to treat it? And unfortunately, there's not. There's a lot of different causes. There's a lot of things that might make it flare. But at the heart of atopic dermatitis is dry, itchy skin, which is genetic. So that skin will dry out more easily. It doesn't hold moisture like it should. Different things from the environment might irritate it. And then the immune system, instead of just allowing that skin to heal up naturally like it should, it sort of goes in with a vengeance, sort of like a swarm of bees, and it attacks that area with redness and inflammation. And, of course, that makes things worse. So then what does the patient do? Instead of allowing their skin to heal, they start scratching it. And that can cause infection. That can cause bleeding on their sheets at night. Um, you know, And, unfortunately, it can, can just make things a lot worse. You guys did a recent survey. Tell me a little bit about that survey and how it has an impact on those of us with atopic dermatitis. I'm glad you brought that up. I've partnered recently with Dermavant Sciences uh, to bring these survey results to light because it's such important information that was uh, found looking at uh, 502 adults and 510 parents or caregivers of kids with atopic dermatitis And what they found in the survey was the number one complaint uh, that people have with atopic dermatitis is sleep disturbance, and that's from chronic itch. And that sleep disturbance, not just for the kids or the adults that have atopic dermatitis, but guess what? It's for everyone else living in their house. It's for their significant other. It's for the parents of the kids. Um, If you got one person who's not sleeping well, everyone's not sleeping well. And I can tell you as not only a pediatric dermatologist, but as a parent, of two kids that have atopic dermatitis. Uh, This has been a real issue in our house, and we've had uh, vacations ruined because the kids have had a flare. The sunscreen's irritated their skin, or the dry mountain air air has caused it to crack more easily. And uh, and that, you know, wakes them up at night and unfortunately has has been a a problem in our family. So um, I'm sure many others out there can relate to this. I talk to people every day, especially you medical professionals, and technology is taking us uh, further into treating things. I'm not finding any a lot of cures, but I'm finding a lot of uh, technology is helping us treat these diseases mm-hmm. or conditions we have. What's going on with atopic dermatitis and, and treatment as far as new and innovative ideas? Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, that's, I'm glad you brought that up because, you know, thankfully with technology, we now have so much more information available. So um, patients can get more answers. They can learn about atopic dermatitis. And one thing they might want to do is visit the dermavant.com forward slash sleep itch survey website. So they can learn more about the survey results. They can also learn more about atopic dermatitis. And of course, I would also, as a as a dermatologist, I think it's always good just to talk to your dermatologist or talk to your, your other healthcare provider so you can learn more about atopic dermatitis, learn what your options are. There's not a you know, one-size-fits-all approach to treating it. 
As I had the opportunity to talk to you so my audience could hear you, what advice would you give parents, and since you're one who are dealing with a child with atopic dermatitis, you got any tips or, or uh, something how to manage this in your children? Yes. Well, I think the first thing is just know that you're not alone. You know, there's no stigma with atopic dermatitis. You'll see from this survey, there's lots of people that deal with it. And thankfully, there's, there's help out there. So um, while atopic dermatitis is visible, people can see it. They unfortunately sometimes ask nosy questions, especially kids to kids. Um, there's hope out there. You can go you talk to your doctor. You can go to this website, learn more about it. Again, that's dermavant.com forward slash sleep itch survey um, where you can get more answers. Dr. John Browning, Chief of Dermatology at Children's Hospital in San Antonio, I thank you so much for stopping by the Valder BB Show and talking about such an important topic. I really appreciate it. Well, thank you, Valder. It's such an honor to be here with you today. Hi, I'm Valder BB, host of the Valder BB Show. We have over 1,000 videos on ValderBBShow.com and YouTube.com slash ValderBB Show. We upload new videos daily. Our site is a modern baby boomer platform with news and information important to boomers. Subscribe to youtube.com slash show and stay connected as I interview the world's most fascinating people.